Hey, I'm Chris Gampett for thefootballographer.com, and this is a video review of the Canon SD4500IS. Canon gave this to me as a gift during a concert I shot, and um, just thought I'd do a short review of it. We don't usually do reviews of cameras like this. Uh, reason is because they don't shoot raw, and most of our readers love shooting raw and really appreciate what it can do for them in post-production. But uh, I figured why not just do like a quick review. I mean it is a kind of interesting camera. The SD 4500IS, first off you'll realize, is actually really really thin. Um, what's weird about it though is that's the battery right there. That's the battery port rather. And then I'm wondering why they did this they put the card port right here where my right thumb is and there's a whole load of space it just seems superfluous I mean you could just create a small latch right there or put it in with the batteries spot granted though the battery is much different now um, the camera also has different switches up here um, that's the on off button, that's for video, that's for more, <coughs> excuse me, more control over your uh, images, and that's total auto. In addition to that, this right over here is your shutter button, and this controls the zoom, which is really cool. And this is the back LCD. Um, this is a one touch movie record button, this is your dial which allows you to do different things. I mean, right here in record mode, it's color swap, color accents, uh, poster effect, super vivid, low light. Uh, my favorite is actually handheld night scene, which is right here. And an another favorite of mine is actually um, miniature. That's special. Miniature is right here. You can tell because that's a big city and that's a little car. Um, yeah. That's really about it for that. There's stitch assist as well too, but that's been here for a little while. It's kind of like panorama shooting. Um, most users may leave it on program auto. Uh, that's really up to them. Um, in addition to that, there's also the menus, which there's much less of them than there were before in previous point and shoots. I haven't really used a point and shoot by Canon in a while. Um, at least every day religiously. Mostly more of a DSLR guy. But there's also two types of autofocus. There's either center mode or there's face detect. And you can choose the size of the AF frame, which is really, really cool. Most people may just leave it on face detect. In addition to that, it also shoots HD video. And right here I'm actually going to insert some of that video into this video. So this is a video being shot with the ST4500IS and that is my 7D right there. Pretty cool. The camera also has the HDMI port and USB out port right here on the side of the camera. The little flash right up top doesn't actually seem very useful. Um, it won't make your photos jump out and look different than any other point and shoot. Um, for that actually, you better off actually just shooting in low light mode because of the back illuminated sensor, which is really cool. Um, let me show you what the miniature effect looks like on here. So you've got your frame lens right there. Let me actually just dial down the aperture settings a bit on my 7D so you can see a little better. Okay, so right there, that just came up for some odd reason, right there is where we'll be in focus. Um, the camera will actually make everything else totally out of focus for that tilt and shift effect. Now to change where it's in focus, you just hold down menu and you just choose where you want it to go. You go up or down, 
let's say I want it there, point, shoot, it'll focus, and then you probably can't see it very well there, but that little line right there wasn't focused and everything else wasn't. Um, that's it. Thanks a lot, guys. See you around.